Hello and welcome to yet another episode of Data Details and a belated happy Diwali to all of you. And while we are on the topic of Diwali, did you know that on this Diwali day almost 80% of Indian cities breathe decently okayish air? I know that sounds like a tough pill to swallow because we been hearing crackers burst all around us all day and evening. So we will tell you exactly what happened. So in India, air quality index or AQI is divided into a few categories. Severe, very poor, poor, moderate, satisfactory and good, depending on the number of pollutants present in the air. Obviously, severe is really really bad and good is well, good. According to the Central Pollution Control Board data, no city in the country recorded a severe air quality index on Diwali. This wasn't the case in the last few years. And there is a significant increase in the number of cities that had moderate to good air quality. Things were better even in Delhi. Can you imagine? The city is almost always in the news for bad air quality. This year, even though it was still very poor, Delhiites breathed slightly cleaner air. So we decided to look at the reasons behind this and asked a few experts. Obviously, Delhi had a cracker ban this year, but people tell us that fireworks were still around in the city. So, what exactly is the real reason? The weather. Apparently, there was a reduction in the amount of PM 2.5 pollutant because Diwali day was pretty windy and not so cold in the northern India. The stubble fire intensity was also lesser in Punjab and Haryana. Also, when it comes to Delhi, the wind direction also changed to southwesterly on Diwali, which meant the wind did not carry almost any stubble dust along with it. This was probably a one-off incident because the weather decided to be kinder. And just a reminder, Delhi's AQI is still very poor, so it's high time we should look at sustainable solutions. Thank you so much for watching this video. Do not forget to hit the like button, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also, check out our website thehindubusinessline.com. We will see you again soon.